And I am telling you, I'm not going. You're the best man I ever know. And there's nowhere I can let you go. No, 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 no. I just want to be free. Wait a minute. I'm singing a song from Dreamgirls. Am I right? So today, I'm going to be reviewing Dreamgirls. So yeah. So before I go, I'm going to say this. Hear the intro. Hey guys, this is Evan to Disney's Movie Media Tom 22 here, and today, guess what guys, and today I'm going to be viewing Dream Girls, came in the year of 2006, so yeah, so I'm going to read this plot on the internet, so yeah, so basically what the plot's about, Dina, Elfie, and Loyal from a musical duo oh, called the Dream Girls when an ambitious manager, Chris, kind of mispronounced his name, correct me if I'm wrong, um, Taylor Jr., played by Jamie Foxx, spots the act at the talent show. He offers a chance of life to be backup singers for a national star, Eddie Murphy. Taylor takes creative control of the group and, um, eventful um pushes the singers into the spotlight and however one becomes the star forcing other I mean another out which um teaches them about the high cost of fame. So yeah so that's basically what the plot's about about this movie. So yeah, and yeah, this movie actually came out in two thousand six and it was a major success. And yeah, and also um, yeah, and also um, this movie is actually directed by Bill Condon, who also um wrote Chicago as well, and also did the live action remake of Beauty and the Beast as well, and also yeah. And so yeah, guys. So what do I think of this movie? I have to say, this movie was fantastic. I mean, this is definitely my personal favorite movie of two thousand six. Like, I mean, I mean, um, Bill Condon did absolutely phenomenal directing this movie. So yeah. And now let's talk about the cast in this movie, which. Jennifer Hudson in this movie is just fantastic. I mean, yeah. Even, excuse me, guys, I just burped. So yeah, but also her, her singing voice in that movie was just fantastic. Like, like yeah. And yeah. Yeah, he, she did fantastic in this um, movie as well. And also, um, Jimmy Fox as Chris Taylor um, Jr., he was fantastic in that movie, and also Beyonce as as Dana Jones was fantastic. I mean, I do like um, Beyonce; she's a great singer as well. And even um, Anika Noe Woes was fantastic as Lolo, which I thought that she was fantastic. And I've also, yeah, she was also oh, um, the same actress who would voice um Tiana and the Princess and the Frog like three years um later, which I thought she did absolutely fantastic in the role of um Tiana in that movie as the main character in the Princess and the Frog as well. And also um Eddie Murphy in it was absolutely fantastic in this movie as well. Like he was he was pretty much having a lot of fun in this movie as well. 
him, yeah, I mean, enough said, so yeah, so now let's talk about the music and the score of this movie, which is actually composed by, um, Stephen Task, which, yeah, which honestly, I definitely thought his, um, score in this movie was just absolutely phenomenal in this movie, I thought his jazz theme of this movie actually fits so well for this movie. I mean, yeah. And also, um, yeah, and even the songs in this movie. Let's talk about the songs in this movie as well. Like, like, looking for someone, somebody, when you, when first saw you, perfect world, um, old, um, Heavy, um, Dream Girls. I mean, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of... And, and even my favorite song of this movie is definitely I Am Telling You I'm Not Going, which that song is really amazing. And, yeah. I mean, Jennifer Hudson and singing voice in that song was fantastic. So, yeah. And now, let's talk about the production design of this movie. I mean, the production design of this movie is absolutely phenomenal. Oh, it's gorgeous looking. I mean, I mean, it still holds up to this day, 16 years later. I mean, yeah, I mean, even the sets in this movie definitely look fantastic and, I mean, and definitely look very sparkly as well, especially when it, in the scenes it's on stage, which is gonna guess it just burps. So yeah, again, so yeah. Which I definitely thought it definitely looked fantastic and yeah. Especially when it's on stage, which the stage in this movie definitely looks fantastic. So yeah, so so enough said so yeah. So overall, I mean Dream Girls is definitely a fantastic movie. So yeah. So if you haven't seen this movie, where have you been? I highly recommend it. So yeah. So, I'm going to give Dream Girls a 10 out of 10 spectacular. So, yeah, guys, what do you think of this video? Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe to my channel. And make sure to like this video. So, yeah. Listen to the rain off the roof. So, pit, patty, pat, pit, patty, pat. Yes, my next review, a.k.a. my last review of July of this year is going to be Paddington 2, which is going to be next Friday, July 29th. And... My sneak peek review of my reviews for August of 2022 will come out on July um, um, 28th of this year. So stay tuned for that. So yeah. So I'll see you guys later. And bye.